Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids of the Week video. I thought I would mix one of these in here while I'm going forward with the Mysteries and Oddities video. This random page suggestion came across a cryptid that may actually be one of the most deadliest cryptids around. Not necessarily because of how it acts, but because of its very oppressive defense mechanism and it has to do with all these poisons that this cryptid has. You and I know that there's a lot of creatures out there that have various forms of poison within their bodies both as a defensive and as an offensive weapon. Well this one, this cryptid, if the legends are true, absolutely takes the cake when it comes to being the deadliest one, like the poisonous, most poisonous one of them all. So it has to do with a cryptid that's found in Iceland, particularly in the waters located there, and it's this. It's called the Vakta Vatnagetta, I hope I'm saying that right, Vatnagetta, which you're looking at a picture of here. So lots of interesting info uh, to talk about, a little bit short, but still, I'll present as much as I can with regards to this creature. So what is the Vatnagetta? Well again, it is a large cryptid-like fish of some sort found in Iceland, particularly in the dark lakes of Iceland. There's a very distinct reason for this. It has to live in the dark areas there of Iceland because it can die, apparently, if it comes within any contact of light. So it's a creature that is absolutely nocturnal, 100% nocturnal, just its entire life lives in darkness. So when it comes to contact with any kind of light, then that's it. It pretty much dies. It reminded me immediately of that Riddick movie, the, the first one, when those creatures were having issues with coming out in the light. So it was interesting to see the parallels associated with this creature. As far as its body and what it looks like, just imagine like a larger type fish of some sort. Um, not too many, I guess, concrete details only because it seems like it's still a very mysterious mythical like fish but otherwise it's the closest comparison is a pike fish that seems to be the closest way you can take a look at a real life example of a fish in this world and then try to compare it to what it has or what it looks like there in Iceland now as far as its poisonous characteristics here's all the detail associated with it its flesh is by far the most poisonous flesh out there in this world it is the most bar none like it is the greatest defensive weapon that it has its skin is considered yellow but it be the reason for that is because it has so much poison like it's emanating from it it's absolutely just oozing from its body so much so that anything that comes into contact with it dies according to the legends associated with it it has like a corrosive toxin of some sort and, and it even like permeates out from the body itself so you don't necessarily have to touch it but you can be close by to it and then that's when you'll be able to feel its effects so strong is this toxin that it can actually dissolve both skin organic material and also inorganic material and it can even eat through layers of clothing so if you have any kind of contact with this fish crazy as it sounds it's probably the closest parallel is like that acid from the alien movies like this thing will absolutely just start eating between any layers of clothing that you have any gloves that you have uh, whatever you think that might actually protect you no in this case it'll start eating through it and then it'll get into your body itself now this is another trait I don't know how I guess concrete this is but it's so corrosive this toxin that not even ghosts if you can believe it are immune to this poison so even evil spirits or uh, passive spirits those that are nearby this creature they avoid it because this poison apparently even seems to transcend the material world and goes into the immaterial world so crazy crazy stuff as far as what to do, like how to get around that poison, there is a way to do so. It seems like it has one natural 
enemy of some sort like this poison does and that is gold so if you have any kind of gold with you let's say you put gold on your glove or you're trying to catch this fish and you want to hook it with something that you're trying to catch it with then you can use gold on the item on the actual hook itself and it'll for whatever reason it'll bounce back all the poisonous effects of the toxin around this fish I have no idea the chemistry involved like why gold like why not anything else why not silver why not copper who knows but with regards to that then yes you can also get around it and then interestingly enough uh, if you have something in terms of gloves but that are made out of human skin then you're able to handle the fish not necessarily scot-free but at least you'll be able to get away from a lot of the venomous toxins too I have no idea how that works though so apparently you can't touch it on your own like if you had no gloves just your own skin on your hands then obviously you'll be in much trouble but if you wear a glove made out of human skin obviously besides you know being a psychopath doing something like that then you'll be able to then touch it and then you'll just develop rashes or some kind of inflammation but that's about it um, you'll still have the ability to touch it thereafter I don't, again I don't understand the the math behind that but still uh, that that's pretty fascinating another way to get around this thing if you wanted to try to find this creature where it's located at again just go to Iceland it's apparently a delicacy there people try to catch it I guess if the legends are true mainly because it's something to uh, catch and show off I don't know necessarily if people try to eat this thing but who knows there are there's like the tale of that I think it's called fugu it's that fish that is extremely poisonous you have to eat it a certain way otherwise you could die only certain parts of its body so who knows maybe the same thing happens with this thing with this vacnageda with regards to people trying to catch it and then eat it maybe it's considered some kind of delicacy or some kind of sacred item who knows but if you wanted to try to find it just go to Iceland go to the murky waters the lakes especially those that have a very high depth so it has darkness in other words at the very bottom of the lake lots of it and then you'll be able to hopefully catch it there but yes be very very careful this magnetic you're dealing with something again a toxin that is so strong it can even melt rocks outright so whenever you're running across this creature in your hopes of trying to catch it please be careful you have to absolutely follow the guidelines that I mentioned earlier there too but that's it that's all the information associated with this Vatnagetta also has a nickname of sorts it's called the poisonous pike again the uh, closest parallel the closest creature out there is a pike that it resembles if anyone has any more info about this extremely deadly creature please post those comments below what's interesting is that it doesn't really have any kind of bad news associated with it like there was nothing I read that showcased like this creature hunted humans or caused a lot of damage a lot of havoc no nothing on those lines just seems to mind its own business but still people try to catch it outright so that way uh, they can do whatever they they can there so if, if someone knows by the way what people truly do with the Vatnagetta then also please post those comments that would be interesting to hear too so one other thing too about this creature if you wanted to know that you have a telltale Vatnagetta nearby is the fact that apparently it has very long strands of hair surrounding it so if you're ever uh, in that area then you wanted to know a big difference between this uh, fish and any of the other fishes around then if you see one with very long strands of hair that is this thing too so alright everybody thanks again as always take care